Hi, I'm Kayla, a speech language pathologist from San Diego, California. I love working with kids in San Diego. A lot of them are bilingual, Spanish and English most commonly. I am not bilingual. I know only a little bit of Spanish. I know my pronunciation is not quite right. So I try and collect quality books for children that are bilingual. And this is how I use them since I'm not bilingual, as I pick a good one, Hopefully it has, I'll show you this one. This one has English and Spanish. So I usually would read the English. This one's a singing song book. And then I would have the mom or the dad, whoever's present with me, sometimes it's even a sibling to read it in Spanish. So the child is hearing both versions, English and then Spanish. It's important to have a small pause in between. I could go through the entire book just in English and then it could be done again in Spanish or it could go English, Spanish, English, Spanish. Either. But if you go English to Spanish, make sure there's a pause so the child has time for comprehending it in one language and then taking in a new language. So not too rapidly is what we're suggesting for um, bilingual therapy these days. Uh, give the child time to process. And now I'll tell you about my five favorite bilingual Spanish and English books. The Wheels on the Bus. Love that it has English for me and Spanish for the kids, <laughs> for the family. Um, as I would be reading, singing this book, and I would totally be singing it, I would be pointing to the words in English as I read them. Because that's raising awareness. It's called print awareness. Bringing attention to the words so that a child starts paying more attention to it and eventually learning phonics and learning how to read. So that's recommended. And I talk about what's in the pictures. If I'm not keeping the child's attention, maybe I put it down and let them do some movement activities, make sure we're doing the hand motions, the wheels on the bus, and we do it really fast. Wheels on the bus, go round and round, round and round. It's totally normal for a toddler to not want to sit and read a book. So you gotta be extra fun. My number one favorite is Wheels on the Bus. We get to do some actions. Um, another sing-songy one, I like the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Oh, I love it. We've got some fine motor actions for the kids to do too. So this has got great pictures. It's got the English and the Spanish. I love it. English over here, Spanish over here. Ah, you know what? I'm learning words along the way. It's pretty great. Again, a great way to get the family involved even if they don't speak English and you're not able to do a lot of English therapy involving the, the parent, although there's lots of ways that you can do that. Um, this is just a really nice, easy English, Spanish, please read together and we'll be involved together with the child and that can be really fun. Third, I will love you forever. Oh, this is a precious book. Caroline loved this book. And it's also got the Spanish translation. It's a really sweet one to read before bed to your child. Um, it talks about different body parts, my arms and my head. And it's just so sweet in that it is a great way to communicate to your child how much you love them and you love everything about them and they're special to you. So great language learning, great pictures. And then again, of course, just telling you that, telling them that you love them. Okay, I want to show you three more books. Los Pollitos. <laughs> this is a lift the flap book, which makes it extra fun. Hard for kids to sit still and read books, as we talked about, but if they have something to do with their hands, then they're more excited. It would be a surprise. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, we say pio. We say pio. We can just have a really good time with it. <laughs> Some really cute books. It's open, abre, open. Oh, here we go. Go. Some different sound effects too. It's really cute. Here, what else you got? Go. <laughs> Two goats. So great book. Bilingual. Los pollitos or little chickies. I like this one about the puppy and the mom. Uh, this one is solely in Spanish, so this would be one that I would hand to a family member because I know that my my reading of it wouldn't be quite accurate for the pronunciation of Spanish, although I'm learning and it's a super fun language. Um, so I would just be there with the parent and encouraging them to be animated and to point out the pictures and maybe ask a few questions of the child. Oh, looks, mommy is sad, right? 
does mommy, oh, what does mommy have? Cookies. You know, I'd be asking different questions throughout in Spanish to the child. Oh boy, last one. This one is basically <laughs> um, old McDonald's and it's all about the cow. And so the parent could read this in Spanish, read slash sing, and I would be nearby and I'd be encouraging the child to be paying attention and pointing to the pictures. Where's, where's the cow? Oh, there's the cow! Ooh, and making some sounds with mom. So here's a great one all about Farmer Pepito <laughs> and his little cow, La Vaca. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe because I am making lots of videos all about books that I recommend, toys, activities, things that you can completely do at home for next to no money just using household items. And if you're worried about your child, then look into speech therapy in your area. Also look into my online course so that you can start doing some things at home really consistently with my step-by-step -step video guide. I'll show you how I do speech therapy. Uh, there's a link below to all of these books, a link to my online course and my website so you can get in contact with me if you're interested in speech therapy with me in San Diego. I would love to work with you. Thanks, subscribe, give me a like, Share this video. It would mean a lot to me, guys. Let's spread the word about awesome bilingual books for children, Spanish and English. Woohoo! Also, post a comment below and let me know if you have a favorite bilingual book, either in Spanish or another language. I'd love to learn about those. Thanks, bye-bye, and happy reading with your little toddlers.